welcome back to the channel and in this month's collaboration we are going to be discussing why we chose our vans so we've got a mixture in the group of caravans motorhomes and camper vans so we'll all be talking you through the reasons why we chose our particular vehicles we've got three new channels joining this month i'm really pleased to introduce to you the travels of ethel the van who have a camper van. We've got 2.4 in a van who have a motorhome. And we also have Fieldview Adventures who have a self-built conversion van. So lots of no new channels coming in. Please do check them out. They are all really, really good channels, really lovely people. So without further ado, let's dive into the reasons why we chose our current van. So at the moment, we probably already know if you watch the channel, we've got a Swift Contiki 650 low line. Now, the main reason that we chose this van is layout, layout, layout. So for us, separate um, shower and toilet, so you don't get wet feet, and a fixed bed are the two biggest like non-negotiable things in a van. And that's what we did have in the first van. But in this van, it's just taken it to the next level. So the layout in this van gives us still the separate shower room, but it gives us a separate bedroom as well. So the bedroom is completely closed off. In the old van, we just had a little concertina curtain, which, you know, it's no good to man or beast really. Um, but in this van, we've got the doors to the bedroom. Then there's a shower room in the middle, and then we've got a door into the living area. And the reason that's such an important layout for us is because Ricky is a morning person and I'm a night owl. So he can get up in the morning at uh, half past five. That's his lion time. He normally gets up about half past three. Um, so he can get up at half past five. He can pop his coffee machine on and I will not be disturbed. So the layout is really, really important in this van. So another reason why we chose this van is that we want to do more and more off-grid camping and we want to do more and more European travel as well. So we wanted to invest in a few longer term um, adaptations, if you like. So we wanted to kind of make this our forever van. So we've had gas low installed into this van. Um, we've got a good amount of solar already, but we've, we've got the potential to increase that. This van also has two leisure batteries, so you've got quite a lot of power already. But again, it's all you can never have too much. So Eco Tree, if you want to give us a call, um, that'd be lovely. Um, so yeah, gas low, we've had that converted, um, and that was no problem. We've got the two leisure batteries, um, and it also came with Wi-Fi fitted already, so we didn't have to have the whole debacle of Ricky um, installing it. So reason number two for us would be that it is a very well equipped van for more off grid longer time off grid um, and european travel so ricky tell me one of the reasons why you particularly wanted to get this van um, for the extra storage okay so what extra storage are you talking about well in the other van mm -hmm. we had the under bed really mm -hmm. so in this one we've got the garage mm -hmm. And we've got lockers um, dotted around externally as well. Who doesn't want larger lockers? Who doesn't? So yeah, storage. Storage. So another reason that we chose this van is because the tag axle actually makes it really pleasant to drive. Um, we had quite a lot of an overhang in our last van um, over the back axle. The, the van stuck out a quite quite a way. Um, and our shower room was right at the back of the vehicle. So when you're brushing your teeth, the van was bouncing up and down. Um, you know, when the van's rocking, it can be a bit disturbing. So um, yeah, the tag axle really makes it a lot more stable when you're in the van and moving around. The bathroom is sort of over the rear axle. So when you're brushing your teeth, there's no rocking. Um, and when you're driving it as well, it's a dream. It sticks to the road. It doesn't bounce about. You don't feel like you're wobbling and rocking. Um, so the tag axle, Ricky also likes the look of the tag axle. Let's just be honest about that. Um, but the tag axle for stability, that's another really important reason for us. Just that stability on the road. And I think lastly, and this does feed into the layout, um aspect of it but when we first looked at this van when i first walked in the ceiling is so high 
um, and there's a much more social space in here. Our old van, we had the dinette at the front and then the two swivel seats, which was fine. So you could get six people around that, but it was quite enclosed and it just felt a bit claustrophobic and everyone had to shuffle by everybody. Um, if you had more than a couple of people in there, it felt really cramped. Whereas this van, it's so tall when you walk in, um, obviously you've got the two swivel seats. You could probably get one, two, three, at least four people on the L-shaped um, seat over that side and two possibly three people on this one as well if you're all squidged up so it's a really sociable space the only downside to that is the table in here is too big so I really want a smaller table so if there's anybody out there who's a whiz at carpentry who could do me a little table it's got a telescopic leg as it were uh, and it does fold in half but it's still just too darn big um so yeah sociable space would be uh, a really really important reason to me as to why we chose this van well thank you for joining us for this month's collaboration um so you know the reasons why we chose our van um i hope you enjoy watching all the other videos in the collaboration please do check them out all the vet links will be in the description and please give a big welcome to the new channels um, this collaboration is so much fun to do and I've met so many br brilliant, lovely people. So please do um, support them and have a little look at their channels. So from me and from him, uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. So we'll each be telling you all about the reasons why we chose our particular outfit. Outfit? Unit? Um, the lack of rocking because um, I did feel a bit seasick in the old van sometimes if it was windy very seasick <laughs>